Okay, you ready? Okay. All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to our daily community meditation. I got a special guest with me. Uh, I got my daughter, Raina, here. We got the elf behind us here for, for <laughs> Christmas time. Uh, she wanted the elf behind us. But today we are talking. Now the elf went there. You went there. We're talking about the helper candle. So Raina was reminding me this morning before we recorded this about in the feast of Hanukkah, how there is a special helper candle. Is that right? Yeah, don't drink your juice yet. Give me my tongue in it. Yeah. There's a special helper candle. In this verse, this helper candle is the one that lights all of the other candles. So the Feast of Hanukkah, it's a reminder to be dedicating ourselves to God. It's a reminder that our light is supposed to be growing brighter and brighter all the time. And it reminded me of, of a couple of verses here. So Proverbs 20, verse 27 says, The spirit of the man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of our belly or of our heart. And I'm reminded of John chapter 14, verse 26, talking about the Holy Spirit. It says, The helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he'll teach you all things and remind you of all that I said to you. And so we've got the Holy Spirit as our helper. It's the candle on the inside of us that lights everything else up, helps us to shine brighter and brighter. So we're going to take communion over this today, just asking God to teach us about this helper candle and how to apply this into our lives. Let's get started with our daily prayer, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And we keep asking that you, the father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more, that the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe, the same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us and to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ and to let it flow through us so that we do good and are blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Don't drink it yet. <laughs> Keep your hand on us. Right, let's do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. St. Father, we're asking for your help. Help us to... Learn more about this helper candle, about how the Holy Spirit has been sent to be our helper, about how the spirit on the inside of us is like a candle or a light. And we thank you in the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he said, what? There's a cracker. <laughs> he said, that's a cracker. I don't think that's what he said. He said, this is my body. What? Broken for you. Do this in your remembrance of me, right? You're going for the cracker. Okay. So, Father, we just, <laughs> well, we're not having peanut butter on it right now. So, Father, we thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and eat our bread, your cracker. Mommy's over there watching behind you. Yeah. So then after supper, Jesus took the cup. Hold on. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. It's grape juice. It's, the, it's grape juice. Mm -hmm. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for men. It's not blood, it's grape juice, that's right. It's a symbol, right? Yeah, it would be gross if we ate blood. Yes, it would. You would be a dog and want to eat blood. <laughs> and so we thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. Yeah. 
You got it all there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's talk about some health and fitness stuff. Uh, oh. One of the things we've been practicing, mommy, mommy's over there. She's reminding me of it today. We call it extra snacks. Short three to five minute workouts that you can sprinkle in throughout the day. About snack, yes. As you can sprinkle in throughout the day. And just those little workouts make a big difference when you start to add them up over the, the days, weeks, months, start to add them up over time. But I hope it's enough for you. And remember, what do we remember before school every day? You say that thing. I say the thing. The master is what? With you. He's with you. you. He, he loves you. you. And nothing's, nothing's impossible, impossible for him. him. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video. No, I want to tell him something. You want to tell him something? All right, what are you going to tell him? Elfing is on a banana and